Hey everyone, so in this tutorial I will show you some really cool surface modeling techniques, how you can create this transition between three surfaces in an absolute perfect smooth way. So you see it's just a really cool detail and also I've created some renders and it just looks so nice in the renders. So here we have this flow of three surfaces going into each other and it's pretty simple and pretty effective so let's have a look on that. Below this video you can just download this project file so you can follow along and if you're interested how to model this whole helmet completely from scratch just in a few hours so this course is super dense, packed with very powerful techniques and workflows, how to really master surface modeling. And yeah, you also can check it out. First link in the description. But in this part, we will just cover one little tiny part out of this course. So let's have a look. So first of all, so we have this piece here at the top. We first need this surface here, right? Because you see, we have here a sharp edge. And this surface here is smoothly going into this surface and then we can start to create this little chamfer. So let's do everything one by one. And I will just briefly brush over that because I have already everything in the course. But here you have a curves group and let's first of all cut a little piece out of those surfaces. So we will just select this curve and just cut it. And also select this curve and cut the inner piece so we have those two extra sheets and we can basically delete them because we can just rebuild the surfaces because as you see here we have this nice sharp angle so very simple again i'm just briefly going over that because the most important part will come in a second so create a line snap here to the end and go to the side view and recreate this angle here and the same with the surface in the middle. So we can give it a thickness. Again, just give it here so it doesn't need to be here super exact. And as always, just extrude them a little bit inwards, delete those curves. And now let's take this edge from the outer piece first and connect or bridge this with this one here. Press Shift B. Or if you don't have the shortcut here, bridge edge. Also below this video, you find the PDF explained everything about surface modeling and all shortcuts and my custom shortcuts. So you can exactly follow along and they are super optimized. So G1. So you see we are kind of rebuilding the cage. And now what we can just do is we can select this edge and this curve, loft it. And add those boundaries here as well. And here G0, here G0, and here G1. Perfect. So you see, we have already our first effect. And we have this angle, which is smoothly transitioned here into our main surface. So let's just very quickly delete this little piece and just do the same here for the inner part. So we can create a thickness. Again, select both of those edges, Shift B or Bridge Edge. And let's just loft everything and add those boundaries here and perfect. So that looks great. And we have something like that. Now, as always, press four, join everything. And let's give it here a thickness. So again, very simple, just select all of, so all of those edges here where we have the gap and just loft them with G0. So I will just do that quickly. Perfect, so you see we've closed those holes and now we have some thickness, so I will not do it for everything because we don't need it in this tutorial. Again, object mode, join everything and now starts the fun part. So if we go to the side view and we activate our curves, I've prepared already here this curve here and the shape that I want. So basically I just took here the exact same shape out of the course and you can follow along, select this curve and imprint shift one or search for imprint, but I recommend you to put it on shift one. Again, everything you find in the PDF and let's imprint this onto our surface and let's hide all of our curves. And you see, we are getting very close because now let's inspect the original one from the course. You see, because now this chamfer here it is a chamfer, right? So this is here the surface, but now we have the chamfer 
and this chamfer is going into the other surface, which has already a smooth transition. So to recreate that, we have that the same here, right? So here we have already this smooth transition and here we need the chamfer. And always when we need the chamfer and we do it manually, we just have to delete the surface and recreate it. So very simple, we just select here this whole surface, shift X and delete it. So we, again, we have a hole. But now it doesn't make sense to close it because then we have the exact same thing. And now comes the magic part. We have to give or cut, for example, the half of the thickness away. So here at the bottom, where we have the thickness, we have to with control R with the isoparam command. And if we press tab, we can create here a line which goes along the half. And let's just do it on all of those surfaces and just go around and all that stuff. And yeah, this is here fine. And now we will delete this extra piece here with shift X. So now if we would loft this here, loft and give it G0, voila, you see we get a beautiful chamfer. And I, I, I don't know, I, I love this technique. I, I never saw that, that anyone is using that. And so we can basically do that. And now we have to connect or we have to close this hole here on the top, right? Because we can't just here cut a half away because then we have a huge hole but and we can't really close it. So for that, we have to first of all press 4 and join everything. And we have to take this edge here which is like here this edge, this corner, and it has to go smoothly to this one, right? So if I will paint it, our chamfer, so you have to imagine now a little bit in the 3D view. So we have to create here a smooth G1 curve and cut this piece here away, right? So we have this hole, and once we have this hole, we can create here a new surface and you see this surface will smoothly go into this um, surface. So it will smoothly transition from here into our chamfer. So again, this is not a super beginner tutorial because it's just briefly going over. If you really want to learn everything, how to do that from, from the beginning, then definitely check out my course. But we have our edges here and shift B again, bridge edge. And we just need G1, right? Because we need continuity. So we have a smooth transition out of the surface. Press OK and go to the bottom view and just imprint it onto the surface. So again, shift one and just imprint that in the bottom view. So shift one and here height occlusion maybe. Perfect. Now delete the curve. You don't need it and delete this extra surface, bam. You see, so we can delete this little piece here. And you see, we have a perfectly smooth transition. And now what we can just do is alt click edge mode and patch it, give it here G1, where the edges and where we want the surface go into. Perfect. And voila guys, we have one, two, three different angles of surfaces connected into one amazing thing here. And if you want to save weeks going through random tutorials and want one start to finish whole process of a complex object, which is completely step by step explained for absolute beginners, I can't recommend you enough this course. So check it out. First link in the description. And I hope I can see you on my next video. Bye.